Ebusuya enoma esisi ye ewo bra dampari okopie mu parliament ewo investigation ya omodi ahyehye so ewo ho ni nyina eye dampari ni leak paper eba abonten ensam amanfo bi eka wo ho no today ena dampari okopie mu ho se onko ansa questions ewo ho nea esi ye ewo bible mu john 11:35 ebusuya and jesus wept dampari ebusuya wo ho se bema wa yemre hmm what responded to in summer revenue was to be empowered or they are to just say or not damn parry what a special group be uh or moody maybe a organa damn parry in summer work and negotiation and yes i'm getting to a a draw so you're back in some money now into details not sure what so we'll be sharing the video with now after for us to answer every kb now but sure what you and mommy a comment section it was my recommended chloe k product and i'm on uh this product is good for all skin types i'm on a serum body lotion cream and a fee a yet the soap ladies and gentlemen it's much sure so be for chloe k na woni omo e be twetwe en komo se wo e ye na so buy na na se we use product be na e how ah mesro wa so be try product we na no dey an wan ka so we be hu resort no e buzu afi wo hwe mechi a sane akojo black de bia me de hu adanse no e ye one paint pe e na me recommend am a ni nyina e ye vision group of companies omo de a omo de aba e twa so paint we e demo strong ko e ye thick afi e san so e ye durable afi so e san so e ye affordable a che se o sika kitu ibi kura na okuta o benye paint ibi ato enu ntini ankwa nkure any schools any churches are more people that we be use no mashro wa number e twegu e wa ase ho no fre e mu ba ko na woni omo entwetwe enkomo e busu afi ye hye enkokonsa no ase nti ye nyina ye ni investigation a e ko so e wo parliament and then adam pare ko pimo ho e wo so ono so ko answer questions na no na wo baka ya cop alex mensa o ko ka se dam pare is the worst igp in the history of ghana e busu ya dam pare wa reply cop alex mensa ye ti anaboche i think Probably my brother wanted to say I'm the best and he missed it. <laughs> because the records are there for everybody to see. The beauty of mankind is that everybody has an opinion and he can express it in any form of shape. But that has not changed the facts. And this is the point, Honorable Chair. So even granted that I'm the worst, then all of us collectively are the worst including probably my brother who was serving in that capacity as member of the team that I led. I lead, I lead. So I think it was a slip of tongue on his part. So it is not true that my administration is the worst. It can never be. He missed it. So would anybody come in to say that you are the worst IGP? It's unfounded, it's unfortunate, and I think the best the person could have done, if he has nothing to say, is probably keep quiet and allow the good people of this country to make a determination on us. In the Dan Parry respond we and all the other COP Alex Mensa. Then another Dan Parry also answer what you must say. Aye, on one case the colleague COP Alex Mensa said, "But can say Dan Parry or running police service no one man show." She said, "On tie ubia asem." Aji or non kwa, I drink a wooden trim and on all the bar wanting. Damn Paris, it was young. And also explanation we and I owe. Hana which eh? That is false food. And like I have demonstrated to you, and you also refer from my speech, and look at it, you called me and only me to appear. All of them including some of them who are on sick leave, said, what is happening? I will suspend my sick leave and come. Because since you have been in office, you've told us that we are a chain. And the time we break, any time it breaks, is because somebody is retiring, we took that part out and connect the chain again. So if anybody sits anywhere to say that you don't consult then that person is trying to be so mischievous to the level that he doesn't wish the organization well and doesn't wish the country well and honorable chair the final point on this matter is that it is not about dampari it's about the police administration the police 
is not a sole proprietorship. It is an institution with governance and management structures. Dampari is just one of the officers involved in the governance and the management structure. In the Russia, Sunny and Yomel Corner, Dampari, O Hitiba, Nenona, Attachina, Honorable, or Catcher Dampari, they be in some of your home, and yes, or can't hope, or more back in camera. Nenona Dampari, they be tape, no bab one, and a gun of Funyati. In Tatachia Man and Cassandrano, on Jano, not on answer in public. Honorable Chair, I am answering a question about what is out there in the public. Mm. The person is saying that. I don't do what I'm supposed to do with the team. Yes. And I'm answering to it, and the witnesses to the question is out here, is in here with us. And I need to speak to it so that the public, which has been misinformed, is re-informed with the truth. You've, so you've I, done that sufficiently. And, and I have to end it and nail it. <laughs> Honorable Chair, yes, you, you, I have you, to end it and lay, nail, nail it. Other than that, at the end of the day, if there is a snake you are killing, as our forefathers have told us, you must make sure that it is really dead. So you need to, the head needs to be cut off. So permit me to complete the cutting off of the head. A, Thank a you. A lot of uh, cutting off of the head will be done in camera. On average, I'm cutting off the head that is in public. So. The point is simple. It is a lie and it should not be tolerated because my colleagues are here. They know, and I'm saying three things and I'll end on that, that every time there is any issue anywhere across the country that is of national importance, I, beyond the normal meetings we have all the time, at times thrice in a week, with some of them saying that judge is too much because at times we just enter the office and you call us again on a matter. Beyond that, every single one, we have meetings on them. And all the ministers are there. And beyond that, we have the meetings, even including all hours, in the night, and at times Saturdays, Sundays, because the matters of policing, the matters of security has arisen, and we can't wait. Because if you wait, the situation will get out of and this is what we've been doing. And when 95 to 96% of the time, I give room for errors because nobody is perfect, and I'm not. I wait for all of them to speak, and they are here. And after that, they call me magnetic mind. I will then summarize all the position of each one of them, itemize them, and at times I ask them, how many should we have? How many itemization do you think I'm going to have based on this meeting that we've had? And some of them, today we are tired, give us only 10. We are tired, give us 15, or go it or out. So at times we have the meeting discussions, and it's like, George, are you doing Ghana movie? Are you going to do part one, two, and three in this summary? That is the way we do things. And one other thing, the second thing is to do with the fact that we consider ourselves a civil servant and every servant has a master and the masters of we the police officers are the public even including a weak year old child something that I call regimental diplomacy even though I'm the head I use please thank you brother and sister and this is what has glued us together to be working the way we are working and to be protecting the good people of this country the way we are protecting so it is a big lie if anybody comes here and make this statement. And that person, I think, needs to apologize to the public. I thank you. Who, who, who did you have in mind when you said you helped your brother? Is he one of the witnesses? I'm talking to my big brother, Brad George, a COP. We see, because of the informality that has developed over the years, at times, even in a formal setting, I get it wrong. Mm -hmm. So um, it's about my big brother, COP. George, Alex George Benson. Okay, so the Iraq also captured that. Yeah, okay. And on a damn parry or some sort of thing, we say, I'm not for be a back on committee, and him say, I or not damn parry now, or the record that no other question will bring her office. In the damn parry or more much a damn parry now, our original leak tape, no. It was here, damn parry, who damn parry, who honorable chair, another wide delegation. 
I don't know which of them, my brothers, who made that statement. Then I could probably ask the committee for him to go with me and tell me where I put it. Because technically, I don't have it. I don't know about it. So why should somebody come here and make such wild allegation without proving a bit of it? And then I'm asked to respond to it. And I would say, I beg of you. I beg of you. I don't have it. And I pray that maybe going forward, we should make sure when people make allegations, they should provide at least a shred of evidence before maybe an invitation is made for somebody to come and speak to it. But now, looking at the proceedings and the way I feel, it's like allegations have been made and then nobody provided a shred of evidence and the allegations are out there in the public and the allegations touches on my person even though it has nothing directly to do with me, especially with all the wild allegations they are made about the management of the police service, which I do with my team because without the way we I can't make any pronouncement when I'm leading an organization. I don't use the word I. Then I'm being asked to speak to allegations that have not been Substantial. substantiated with a shred of evidence. Then after I've answered the allegations, I'm being told that when there is a camera in camera meeting, those people who have evidence to now substantiate an allegation, then why couldn't we have waited? For them to provide all those over allegations, even though belated, for myself and my counsel to look at them, and probably those that extend beyond me with my management board, whom I always work in concert with, to look at them, and then we can come and apply them appropriately. But now, allegation on substantiated, I'm speaking to it, and it's, my feeling is that that is the bit of it that will be for the public, but the rare game has been put is what they now have again against me. And yet we have also been told that it's not the police service which is on trial here because we have police institutional structures to deal with anybody who has a complaint, which I know they don't have, except that the shame that have come upon them. They are trying to twist it and divert attention. And we allow them to go on that fishing expedition, acting as octopuses in their quest to find something by whatever means to affect my person and my integrity. Which I think we need to look at this carefully because that is not fair. Having said that, I don't have anything. I don't know about it. And they should stop it. I thank you. In the question, we and I was young, damn parry, send in your America corner. On a dear, it was young. I said, Dan Paria Casa, Mammy Ancasa, Mitty Dan Parana Migraho. To be honest with you, I was sad. And what I superintendent George Asari? It was young. I said, Dan Pari or Casano, Napa pay. No, 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 Ah, no one can say no crop for a can some way for no home. Master was so best on one day. One shall part we will be soon. It was young. In tea down parry. Honorable Chair, there have been a lot of issues about my person. And I would like to take the opportunity granted me today to speak to a few of them for about the next three minutes. Honorable Chair. Let me speak briefly about my colleagues here. George is my big brother. JB is my kid brother. Asari is my brother. The beautiful thing is this, Honorable Chair. We've been together for far long. And my brother George, you know, his, his wife, since I joined the police today, I call her my mom. And that will never change. And JB, my brother, my kid brother, when I became the Inspector General of Police, I call you and offer you the position of director cybercrime. My brother Asari has already gone through a whole process at various places. And by the time I came, he was still at the position of where he is today. We do not have records to as to where precisely he wants to be. And this is how I have coexisted with all of them. And as you can see from behind, all my management teams are here because that is how we do our things. Then, 
all of a sudden this matter came up and the matter was about finding out what has happened and who said what and where it came from. And my brothers were given opportunity to come and speak and they did speak and made the indication that yes, they are involved in what was happening. Then all of a sudden, instead of them to focus on that matter, they came out with wild allegations, Honorable Chair, with wild allegations that touch my person, the police leadership that I lead, and the entirety of the police service. Without, until today that I'm being told that now they have some evidence, without a shred of evidence, Honorable Chair, at the time that they were making it, without a shred of evidence. And Honorable Chair, those wide allegations without a shred of evidence has brought a lot of pain to myself, my family across the country, and especially my wife and children. That you are so patriotic because you believe in what you call pan ghanianism where you think that because of your multi ethnic nature, everybody you see, as long as the person is a Ghanaian, is your brother or a sister, mother or father, uncle or auntie. Then the pain also to my command, my leaders, my team that we work together that we all know, and the pain to the thousands of police people who are appreciating the strides that we are making in transforming the organization to be the best institution in the country and a reference point for the rest of the world. They came, made all these allegations in order to cover up probably the shame associated with what they got themselves involved in in the first place. And I, an innocent person, focusing on my job, working in concert with my team and all commands across the country to keep the country safe and make it to be at peace with itself. I've been asked to come and answer to these allegations, which are wide, baseless. And I feel in my spirit that this is just not fair. It is just not fair. Are we killing patriotism? That anybody can just get up make allegations upon allegations, and people who go across the country at times 48 hours non without sleep, just keeping the country at peace, will be called to come and answer allegations that are unfounded. And that becomes something. Anyway, I'm here. I have no choice. I have no choice and I have come. And I say it to the glory of God, my maker, who sustains me every day, I will speak to the matters as you direct. And I'm doing this because of the respect I have for myself, for my family, especially my children and wife, for the office that I occupy, for my brothers and sisters who are sitting behind me, that we are pull ourselves together in an unprecedented manner in a teamwork to get these things done for this country and for the respect I have for institutions of state including the parliament that we are here today and more importantly the respect I have for Mr. President Adranko Kufuado for the honor that he has done me for making me the inspector general of police to work with my colleagues and equally more importantly for the respect I have for the good people of this country. So, Honorable Chair, I am here being asked to answer to why are allegations unsubstantiated by my brothers in order to cover up their shame. I am ready. I thank you. Oh, Dampare Kafra. Kafra. Omaya Wabetu Minyo. No, 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 Dampare say, Gwatete say, <laughs> Reverend Obusu Bempa or okay, can send me online. Now, <laughs> or so, can you pay? 
e mo us men party as e se san san o ka so no dan pare or special group be a o use o ma o didi dwuma bi no reverend us men pa message we dan pare city ana go che first of all there is no unit called special dan pare unit it's a figment of people's imagination and i think the point must be made the second point is that there is a police intelligence directorate which complements police operations. And what has happened in the past is that we were having challenges when it comes to these operations and we needed to top up with our intelligence and the intelligence were at only the national level. So my colleagues and I, once again, worked together and we decided to decentralize that unit such that each of the 25 policing commands will have their own intelligence unit that shape intelligence gathering to inform the operations of the region. So all those units under the various regional commanders and then they also work in tandem with the national director general in charge of intelligence. They don't report to me. Thank you. Inti sane anyo me kwa no ai eh etina etina e yebugri na abu e na obi ko piu mu e wo ho na transgh ye lens no e da so de den den. Ma so wa so be share video we na afofro so ensa e be kebi na afi o be chewa dwama me e comment section ho.